The Dream Train, Part 1 I've heard that dreams can have meanings, at times tell the future or even the truth. Though I received something I never expected. It began the one night I decided to just lay in bed with my spouse since it was a cold night and one of the few first evenings we spent together. As I began to drift off to sleep, I was able to notice a set of red and white lights outside of our bedroom window. Odd enough though, our bedroom leads to the backyard where no streets were visible, but it happened just for a brief moment. No sound along with these lights, but an unsettling feeling crept over me. Ignoring the sign, I dozed off and soon after began to dream. The dream that began, that would haunt me for the next few months, started in an area that was dark. Not pitch black, but almost ashy gray. Little by little, my gaze began to move to the right, revealing an arch-type window with light showing through it. The light was not bright, not blinding, but low and had a sudden glow here and there. Leading up to the window was a trail to follow, though the color of this trail was not important. As my eyes trailed up to the walkway, a hint of white fabric appeared over my vision. Walking along the path, I began to turn my head further and further. I noticed more fabric now, but embroidered. Then the longest train of a bride's veil appeared, making me feel and assume it was a wedding dress that I felt clinging to me. For all I have known though, the trail could have been for miles long. It might have been even behind the chapel doors, which I could not see. The next feeling that was a most unpleasant feeling ever to come over my whole body was just horrible. I began to sob in my dream and could not take much longer of this wrenching feeling, so I forced myself to come out of this dream. I woke up with the light shining through the window near the bed and felt these warm tears forming puddles under my eyes. I had cried in real life too, though that was never the end of it. No, not the end of it.